Anyone that's into gaming, especially console gaming, is aware of Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Cloud Gaming, formerly known as Project X Cloud. Just Google the term Xbox Cloud Gaming and you'll see a multitude of articles referring to it as a Netflix of gaming. While most can see why there would be a tendency to do so, it's kind of misleading and also Xbox Cloud Gaming hasn't earned that title. There's still one archaic holdout practice from the old way of thinking that keeps Xbox Cloud Gaming from ascending to the throne it's destined to sit in, and that's user profiles. Just hear me out. So let's rewind to 2013. Gaming families everywhere cried out in pain as Xbox Live Gold Family Pack was extinguished from existence. Gone was a discounted plan that let everyone in your family have their own profile and utilize Xbox Live Gold features. This needs to come back in a big way in a modern form. For the past few years, Microsoft has told anyone that will listen how important it is to game anywhere and how games need to be brought to the masses via the cloud. I think most agree with this wholeheartedly, but Xbox Cloud Gaming will never reach the heights of platforms like Netflix until it conquers its fear of game sharing. I have three Xboxes in my house. Under Microsoft's current policies, I can only share my gold and digital games between two consoles. To do this, one has to be designated as the home console. In order for my kids to play in their playroom, that console has to be the home console. As a result, my Series X, which is my main console in my man cave, does not get automatic background updates and downloads. But here's the bigger problem. My kids rarely use their profile because when they're on the third Xbox in our family room, they can't access any of the games under their profile, so they use mine. As a result, I can almost never game when they are, which is all the freaking time. The point being, Microsoft fully intends to eventually have Xbox Cloud Gaming via HDMI sticks, built-in TVs, set-top boxes, you name it. But what good is it going to be to have Xbox Cloud Gaming in every room of your house if only one person can play at a time? The other day my son was playing Forza, and I didn't know, and I logged in on my phone to play some Doom. It immediately logged him out. Then he logged back in and logged me out. Is Microsoft's solution that I paid for three separate accounts? This would provide access to Game Pass games, but then my kids couldn't access my cloud library. That's not ideal, much less even acceptable. Streaming companies know that most people use their service responsibly, but they also know plenty of people share login information with friends and family. Despite this vile, evil practice, they continue not only to survive, but to grow and thrive, like billions of dollars thrive. Game Pass Ultimate is $15 a month, so $180 a year. Microsoft needs to add Netflix, Hulu-type profiles to their service. Anyone on the account can log in and access all the services and features. Now, should this cost $15 a month? I'm not an economist, but even I believe it's worth more than that. Charge $5 to $10 more a month, and I think it's reasonable. There are tons of people that would pool resources, think high school kids, college students, in order to access a service like this. But they talked about and did pool their money to get one account together, but it didn't work logistically. Nobody could play at the same time, but they were able to work out a system where one person can play here, one person can play there, and they get to play games they normally wouldn't play. When I was a teacher, I ran a video game club and 90% of the kids couldn't pay for gold, but they often talked about pooling their money to get one account together, but it couldn't work logistically. I had to explain the issues there for them. In a situation like this, a family gold pack would be great. Everyone would be doing everything legally, Microsoft would be making more money, and people would be able to play games and share games. Even if they had a lending method where only one person and the family plan can play a game at a time, that's feasible. Microsoft, if you're listening, the digital era is no longer in its infancy. It's just about grown up now, or at least you can buy itself a drink. It's time for Xbox Live services to grow too. Stop living in the past and be the pioneer that you claim to be. Stop being afraid of what you know is the right way to do things. Unlock Xbox Cloud Gaming's full potential. Let us all play together. This is Fanboy Destroyer. Thanks for listening to me, Gab.